and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. Oh, hello. Nice to see you there. Didn't think you would be coming around, but figured it's the weekend. I should have figured you was going to show up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mojo Johnson, you know. Yeah, that's right. Now, I was just thinking about that time I spent a, a month out there. And I spent a month with a tailor out in Jordan. Yeah. Learned a lot about suits. You're damn right I did. It was a good time. I liked it. Eventually, I you know, came back, but hey, that's the way it's going to be. I'm really excited. I'm you know, scratching my head and doing all kinds of things that just get me all a flutter about flotation devices. And every once in a while, I just do the scissor movement across the screen. Look out. There go the scissors again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today, but I figured you'd all like a little mojo. In your weekend. That I was sure of. So here I is. Um, I apologize. I was reading from one of my favorite authors. Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, fine American. That was the end of the raven. When you uh, stumbled in upon me. So to speak. I'm sorry. I thought someone was glaring at me. From the outside. Maybe someone upon my chamber door. So to speak. Boom. Scissors again. Look out. But you know, Mojo Johnson, when he spent that time in Jordan with a, with a tailor, you know, I'm a, you know, I learned a lot about three-button suits and two-button and three-pieces and vests. It was nice, you know. I learned a lot of things over the years just, you know, doing nothing. Just hey, I was like an apprentice for like 90 different things, you know, a shoemaker, uh, carpentry, uh, gardening. Yeah, I gardened. I mean, that's... The stereotypical uh, auto mechanic. A lot of things. I'm good with my hands, ladies. And uh, you know what I like to do it, ladies. And that's just the way I am. Because Mojo Johnson is a lover, not a fighter. But when I got to fight, I like to kick an ass or two. Boom. Scissors again. That's the way I am. The way I'm going to be for the rest of my life, I think, until uh, somebody kills me. Apparently, you know, May 21st is supposed to be like the end of the world. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. I'm going to tell you why. I, I read their website. They got a lot of good mathematicals going on. But uh, I was impressed by, by how good their math is. But it was very funny. The last line of the website says, please... Uh, uh, petition the Lord with prayer so that we may be given more time. Oh, there it is. That's the out. Scissors again. They got it. They figured it out. How are they going to make themselves not look like idiots come May 22nd? Oh, because you petitioned the Lord with prayer and he gave us more time. Come on now. It's in the book of Matthew where it says, No man shall ever know the end of the world. Only my father. That's what Jesus said. Oh, that's, when he says it, I cut that passage out with some scissors again. And that's how I do it. I look at it every day and I say, this is why you're wrong, Mr. Whatever Your Name Is, for the action of the movement of the May 21st ending of the world or October 21st, whatever is going to be judgment day on top of the revelation of God. But I'm about to have myself some dinner. Thought I'd, you know, give you a little mojo for the weekend. Because nobody can start their weekend right without a good amount of mojo in their system. So I bid you all a fine evening. And I blow a kiss to you, ladies.